The fifth ever class of the Dallas ISD Athletic Hall of Fame will be inducted tonight. You know, I'm hosting the event, proud to do so. And one of the people I proudly welcome into the Dallas ISD Athletic Hall of Fame is Dallas Wilmer Hutchins graduate, NBA legend, and president of basketball operations for the Texas legends, Spud Webb. Uh, Spud, um, you're one of seven inductees tonight. What does this honor mean for you? Oh, it means a lot because, uh, you know, Wilma Hutchins came in the ISD late. So them, me representing uh, my school and my city uh, to be inducted, get it known by the people that grew up with, that's, that's more bigger honor than you can ask for because uh, we all work hard and work on our craft and do a lot of things to help a lot of people and a lot of people help you. So uh, it's, 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 it's just an honor, man, uh, to be with those names, the guys that's going in. Hey, hey Spud, um, uh, some of the other names going in, I won't give out the whole list, but uh, Duncanville head coach Reggie Samples, who just won his first ever state football title. People don't remember how great a career he had, you know, coaching uh, Skyline High and Lincoln High before Duncanville and a graduate from South Oak Cliff. And, and Dr. Uh, Michael Inahosa, two-time superintendent of Dallas ISD. People don't even know he had a great athletic and coaching career inside uh, Dallas ISD. He went to Sunset High School. So you're in great company, but in my mind, you're the headliner. And, <laughs> and, and, and you're the headliner, Spud. No, I'm, I'm not the headliner, man. Uh, I think Samples and, and Hunter Rosa, they, they, man, they've done tremendous for DISD. I've watched them all my career. My sisters and brothers taught in uh, DISD. So, and when Samples, you know, getting his championship, you just, uh, like it was your kids out there playing or your brother coaching. And Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Murray, he's like a brother to me. Me and him are real good friends. So, all those guys I, you know, kind of know and grew up with and probably played against up at the gym. So, <laughs> this is an honor just to be with those guys. Kevin, Kevin Murray, you're talking about the former great football player and what a career he had and, and the history he made at the Cotton Bowl and not to mention the history his son Kyler Murray is making right now. Hey, Spud, um, you're, you're, you're smallest slam dunk champion in the history of the NBA. You won that slam dunk title in 1986. I, I'm always mystified. I read 5'6", 5'7", 5'7", 5'6". Which one is it, Spud? <laughs> Five seven. I, I wish I could, you know, make it taller. Maybe I'd be still play, still playing. But uh, you know, that day in Dallas to win the dunk contest, you know, surprised everyone because it probably wasn't a guy my size playing the NBA that size. Uh, first of all, and then to go out and win a dunk contest so against my best friend at the time, Dominique Wilkins, which is the best dunker ever. Yeah, uh, for you to come out over uh, Dominique, and, and I know he was so happy for you, and so many people were happy for you, Spud, because um, you inspired so many people through the years, and I, and I mean not just in basketball, but in believing that no height is unreachable. How much pride do you take in, in being someone who has ins inspired people to reach that belief? Yeah, man, uh, you know, nobody believed you could play just, you know, so, uh, you know, playing all the time and practicing. Once you get on the floor, all that go out the window, you have to go out and compete. And, uh, you know, I just love competing and playing basketball. So uh, uh, it just never give up, man. I played for Jim Valvano and North Carolina State is the epitome of what my uh, career has been is never giving up and just going out and doing your best. You, you, you played for uh, Jimmy V at NC State, uh, a, a legend in his own right, and, and obviously you played and had a phenomenal career in the NBA um, and mostly spent your time with the Atlanta Hawks. But as a graduate of Wilmer Hudgens, to have your jersey retired, we just showed it just now on the screen. What does that mean to represent the hopes and dreams that so many kids have in Dallas ISD and inner cities everywhere? Yeah, that's what I like about uh, this today being in the Hall of Fame. Man, that could reach so many kids in my neighborhood in the Wilma Hutchins. So uh, just to have that honor that they can look up to and say, I, I want to sit up there where he's sitting. I want to be a Hall of Famer one day. Uh, and that's, man, that's what we live for. God give us that talent to go out and just try to give it back. 
And, and Spud, I can't wait to see you tonight when you receive your official jacket and your official ring. Uh, before I let you go, if there's one piece of advice you give to young people everywhere, one consistent piece of advice, what is it? Oh, you have to work on your game. You just you just can't show up in shorts and just play. I mean, I ran bleachers to uh, you know practicing shots and dribbling all over, turning up my mom's backyard and house. So you have to work on your game. Spud Webb, uh, a living legend. Um, congratulations on being part of the newest class of the Dallas ISD Athletic Hall of Fame. I can't wait to present you tonight. Thank you for taking the time for us, and thank you for being an inspiration for so many.